Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August the 31st, 2022. If you like to support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's get to it. We'll start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, it has fallen off a cliff today. We're down uh, at now 5%, but uh, we were nearly 6%. Uh, when at most we got all the way down towards 19.72 dollars per barrel and trading at this current stage are roughly 20 uh, 92.25 dollars per barrel so the main reason for this is that, 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 that the iran deal is probably going to happen and if that happens then supply of oil will increase and therefore uh, the market reacted to that so prices will fall if the if the supply increases as we are also looking at most likely recession uh, or a worldwide recession going into uh, 2023 if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish stochastic is very bearish and so is our signs a lot of room to the downside the lows here are down here uh, roughly at uh, 85.86 and breaking below the 20 simple moving average, then we are most likely would go and retest those levels. After that, it opens up towards, um, opens up all the way down here at the 75, give or take, and then all the way down to 60. So expectations for this market are not really good as recession is most likely going to happen after uh, uh, central banks around the world are going to increase interest rates and tighten monetary policy and inflation is just you know, crippling the world's economies. So we'll mostly have a crossing here of the 50 and uh, 200 moving average, a crossing that we haven't seen for a very long time. We have to go all the way back to uh, give it a 2020 to see a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average. So long term um, trend will mostly be broken here as this market will become bearish and the prices of oil most likely decline however if we go um, break above the 50 moving average then we may go and and um, go higher but up towards a hundred dollars per barrel that's probably uh, symbolically going to be really difficult to get through but looking at this market has been basically in a downtrend for quite some time we did break out of this channel but if round deal goes through and supply will increase and the world economy is going to a recession, then then both supply will increase and demand will fall and that will make uh, havoc on prices. So let's look at natural gas. Natural gas uh, tested in the 20 simple moving average down here we're roughly 8.8. .8. We got down towards 8.8990. And at this current stage, it looks like we are... Uh, we were kind of in a range, so so the highs here are roughly 9.9, .9, and then down here of give or take nine. So we have broken below that today, and the question is whether or not we break below the 20 simple moving average. If we do, then there's nothing kind of in between going towards the 50 moving average down. We're just trading at roughly 7.7 .7 at this current stage. Breaking below that, then 200 moving average will come in. Uh, uh, the play which is at 6.4 at this current stage so m the main reason for this increase is that um, expectations is that uh, Europe will buy more LNG from the United States but there are several articles uh, out recently that for example Euro uh, uh, European storage are nearing uh, its capacity and if that is the case, then there will probably be less demand for for natural gas from the United States, um, or far less than expected. But it, expectation is that the European uh, winter is going to be really cold due to the lack of supply from Russia. But if you look at technical indicators here, we can see the MACD has crossed the second line, indicating bearish momentum. So the same goes for the casting and the RSI, a lot of room to the downside. If we were to rally from here, then $10 will most likely be uh, significant resistant. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck. Thank you very much.